Hello, and I want to extend a huge welcome to the Paul Six family. As we are now in the second week of this remote learning, I want to share with you how much the administration, the faculty, and the staff miss each and every one of you. What is being referred to now as the new normal can never replace the interaction we share and the bonds that are forged here at Paul Six Daily. I want to commend the administration, the faculty, and the staff of Paul Six for your drive and ability to adapt and to face this crisis head on and your ability to adjust to an educational landscape that changed rather quickly while at the same time you displayed your unwavering support for our students. And believe me, I thank you for this from the bottom of my heart. Please know that I stand alongside of you while we work together through this with bringing our Catholic education to our students each and every day, even if it's remotely. I wanna thank the students' parents as well. Your commitment to your children and your support to the continuation of Catholic education in this remote setting is remarkable. Please know that our faculty appreciate your support that you have been giving your students during this time of uncertainty. To the students of Paul Six, quite frankly, you're amazing. You have created a remote environment and have adjusted to this change by rolling up your sleeves and doing the work and the tasks that are being asked of you. This truly has displayed for me your ability to live our school's motto, freedom with responsibility. You have embraced this newfound freedom and have chosen to live that freedom responsibly by tackling the tasks that have been presented to you. If any young person can adapt to this change and to see that education will continue throughout without interruption, a Paul Six student who lives the school's motto can surely get it done. I wanna to stress to you, in addition to our daily academic program, we must always find time for our Lord and Savior. Father Dexter, the Director of Catholic Identity here at Paul Six, has been streaming weekday mass at 11.30 each morning through Facebook Live. This mass will provide the perfect break in the day for you to share some time in prayer. We have the privilege and the right to come together as a Catholic school community to pray. Of course, to learn, but more importantly, to share our faith with one another. That's paramount. I want to share with you, Coach Keith Walters forwarded me an article over the weekend that was titled, You Are in Charge of Yourself. The article reflects how we should embrace a routine in our daily lives, despite the idea from working from home. The author states how he wakes up every morning, he gets dressed for the day, not because he has a meeting or a lunch date, but because he needs to tell himself that he's going to work. The clothes he puts on send him a signal that it's time to produce and how this approach will sustain excellence in self-discipline and professionalism. He goes on to say that because of this crisis, many of us now are somewhat self-employed. We all have been instructed to stay at home and for good reason. We're working remotely and becoming self-disciplined with our new routine. We are forced to adjust to something new and more difficult, yet we must still be aware that we are expected to produce the same results. And as I continue to paraphrase, this author continues to share that we are in charge of ourselves at this time. We now set our own hours. We can waste time, we can binge watch Netflix, or we can show self-discipline, self-control, and earn the respect of our parents and our teachers who are watching us perform while doing things independently. Your teachers are here to support you and to help you. So are your parents. You must choose now to follow their example, but yet lead by your own. Craft your own routine and make sure that it, that, that routine leads to your success. The author continues by explaining that we must now spend time cultivating that routine and maximizing our efficiency. 
just waking up each morning and slumbering around the living room is not going to produce the best version of yourself. Just because you don't get into the car or get onto the school bus and drive to school does not mean that you have a green light to become complacent and cut corners. Do me and you a favor, start the day the same way you would every day and finish it a tad bit differently. Please know that you and your family are in my daily prayers and I hope that I'm in yours as well. Keep working hard, stay safe, and I hope to see you all very soon. May God bless you and your family. And remember, we are Paul Six High School.